Yeah, well, watch out for that. Now let's put a normal drain plug in. Jesus Christ. She would have destroyed her whole engine. <laughs> Let me tell you about the life I live, right? Better known as the bottle life. That's not. Uh, uh. I'm all about my ball instead. It's just doing it big on a daily basis. Like cruising in my car, chilling at the What's up, YouTube? This is James from Ballin' on a Budget Auto, and I'm back. I am back with a 2012 Chevy Cruze oil change, and I wanted to share this video because it's a little different from all the other oil changes I've done. The uh, oil filter is at the top of the engine. That's the correct, that's, I've never seen that before. I'm not that big of a fan of this vehicle. You know, really the only people I've ever seen drive this is like mad women. I've seen just like a whole bunch of women drive this car. Almost every woman I've known has had this car. So it kind of makes sense why I'm doing it today helping someone out. I know it's been a minute since I've had a video out, almost five months. It's been crazy, COVID-19 hit. I've been super busy in the hospital and with school as well. So I've only got two more classes, the rest are clinicals, and then I'll be a psych nurse practitioner. So I'm super hyped. So in regards to more videos, I have a whole bunch on a back burner. I just gotta edit them and we'll get those out, all right? So let's get to it. All right guys, so today we're gonna be doing an oil change on a 2012 Chevy Cruze. Generally, the oil capacity is between 3.5 to 4 quarts of oil. However, both the 1.4 liter turbo and the 1.8 liter engines have an oil capacity of 4.25 quarts, which is 4 liters. Now, oddly, the oil filter housing is right here. I have never seen that before. There is a 24 millimeter nut on the top. We're going to go ahead and loosen it up pull out the old filter, place the new one, and then put it right back in. All right, so first we're gonna start by taking off our oil cap. We're gonna take off our oil cap now, so then when we get underneath the car and take out our drain plug, the oil is gonna come out smoother, more effectively, rather than it being all sluggish and taking a while. So right here is usually where our drain plug is located, but somebody, whoever did it last, put this ghetto drywall anchor here, so let's go ahead and twist this off. So it looks like it's about to be finishing up. So while we're waiting for the rest of it to drain out, let's go ahead and get back to the top of the engine and go ahead and take out our oil filter. All right, so once again, here's where our oil filter housing is. I've got our 24 millimeter socket on an extension. And let's go ahead and get to it. With the oil filter housing loose now, I've got a paper towel in my hand just so we don't make a mess while we continue to loosen it up by hand and get to the oil filter. There we are. There's our oil filter and our oil filter housing. Doesn't look too much different from our Volkswagen, so it looks like it can just pull right out. Now, here's our new filter. We're going with our OEM AC Deco PF2257G, and that's the filter we're going to be using. So the good thing about this filter is it comes with the o-ring that is needed and right here is where the new filter will click into the oil filter housing so let's go ahead and get started so let's grab our old filter so we're going to go ahead and twist and pull up and it snaps right out of place and we'll get rid of that and then using the little pick we're going to go ahead and pry underneath the o-ring we're just going to spin around until it slides right off and there we go now with our new o-ring let's go ahead and push it on so go ahead and put it in the groove and then try to stretch it around the rest of the way by twisting it around and there it is looks good now we're grabbing our new filter and we're just going to push it right into place it needs a little bit of force and it'll click right in there it is all right, with our oil filter housing complete with a new O-ring and a new filter, let's go ahead and slide it right back into that hole and we're gonna thread it in by hand at first, just so we don't strip any of the threads. All right, with our oil filter now back in place, prior to tightening it all the way, I'm gonna grab a paper towel and wipe around the edges just so I do not confuse it for any leaks. All right, looks good. We're gonna grab our 24 millimeter socket with the extension and start tightening it all the way up. And you're looking for the oil filter housing to be torqued down to 18 and a half foot pounds, and that looks good. Now, as I said, whoever did this before me had used some ghetto drywall anchor, so here I am 
I had to fish around in there looking for the end of that anchor because shoot, if I would have just filled it up and put a new bolt in there, that little metal piece would have been flying all around the engine and potentially cause a whole bunch of damage. So you gotta be careful. Finally, yeah. Well, watch out for that. Now let's put a normal drain plug in. Jesus Christ, she would have destroyed her whole engine. So I went ahead and just got a replacement drain plug. Usually it's a 10 millimeter drain plug. Threading it in by hand. Then we're gonna to torque it down to 10 foot pounds. There we go. It's torqued down to 10 foot pounds. And then lastly, I'm gonna grab a paper towel again, wipe around the drain plug so we do not confuse it with any leaks. All right, now back at the top of the engine, we're gonna start by taking off our oil cap. So we're gonna begin putting in our oil, but we're gonna put in like half a quart less so that, you know, if there's any oil left in the system, we're not gonna overfill it. So I've got Castro Edge Full Synthetic 5W30. We're gonna put in our funnel. And we're gonna slowly fill it up. So after putting in more than half of that five quart bottle, I'm gonna put the oil cap back on and we're just gonna reverse off of these ramps. And now that we're flat ground, we're gonna go ahead and pull out the dipstick and test out the level. So we're gonna do this periodically throughout the filling up process because we wanna make sure our oil is right on point. Not too low, not too high. Okay, now that I've put in at least three and a half to four quarts of oil, we're gonna go ahead and test it for hopefully our last time. And looks like it's perfect, right in the center. Not too high, not too low. We're gonna put our oil cap back on. There we go. That's how you change the oil on a Chevy Cruze. All right, so that is how you change the oil on a 2012 Chevy Cruze. Not too different, but um, I thought it was pretty amazing that the oil filter is on the top of the engine. I have yet to see that before. I don't know, weird car. I don't even like how it drives. So it only makes sense that it's got a weird oil filter. I'm not a big fan. So once again, I'm gonna be back with some videos here very shortly. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, consider subscribing to see the latest content from Bond on a budget auto all right guys stay tuned i hope this video is helpful if so go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber consider subscribing so you can see more content from balling on a budget auto